He basically is injecting that venom which starts the digestion process. So all of our venomous snakes, spiders, centipedes and scorpions will use that venom to begin the digestion process. Also his stomach acids will work as well digesting. Just uh, slide that close there, and he's probably going to take that into his hidey box. He's going to locate the head. So he's working back down the vertebrae, locating the head, and then he'll swallow it whole from there. So instinctively the snake locates the head, and obviously is an advantage for him to swallow it from the head because the fur the arms and the legs, or if it's got wings or feathers, all have a direction of travel and they will fold those limbs down and it will actually go down his throat much easier. So he's working his fangs over the victim and they can actually swallow prey items up to four or five times the size of his head. Venomous snakes, because the venom is injected and it's digesting as well, and the stomach acids are digesting, this guy will eat that rat and then he will actually defecate probably about three days later. Whereas if it was a python, it would probably be more like a week or so later because they're only digesting using their stomach acids. So it takes longer for the pythons to digest that. He'll digest everything basically except for the fur and the teeth and perhaps the claws. And then a small puff of fluff will come out the other end. So you can see he's working his fangs. Over that rat as we speak. So these snakes are specialist reptile eaters. And the king brown or the mulga. A mulga is probably a better name for him because he's not actually a brown snake. He's more closely related to a red-bellied black snake than he is actually to a brown snake. So if you were bitten by this snake, so if you were actually bitten by this snake, you'd be getting anti-venom for a black snake, not a brown snake. 